For the sign of Capricorn, hello and welcome to my channel. It's interesting because the energy that I'm picking up for a lot of you is that there is um, some regrets that you might start to feel towards the end of June or maybe mid-June. Just know that the, the time is fluid. So it could be a little bit before, a little bit after. Yeah, some um, deep regret. But uh, it's kind of like um, feeling that, yeah, you're just kind of stuck in wishing things were different. But let's get into the reading and let's see where this is coming from. So we've got the magician. And the magician is with the four of cups. Okay, so the magician, it's an interesting card. It signifies new beginnings, great expectations. This card reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in all other aspects of the world. Yeah, if you simply try to make it a point to do so. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action, and if you do nothing, you get nothing, and if you don't know what to do, then just do something, because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you will not get. Yeah, so this magician card, if there's some single Capricorns out there, listening if you're in the market for a new romance it's a time when you're likely to meet someone new someone right now someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them let me say that again right now single capricorns someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them whether you find them or not, it's going to depend on you. So make sure you don't sit at home expecting Mr. and Mrs. Wright to walk up your garden path and knock on your door. Because we all know that probably won't happen. Yeah, so you got manifestation powers and you probably don't even know it. So this is a good thing, Capricorn. Use it. Now let's pair it with the Four of Cups. This card is about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now. Count your many blessings that we currently each experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings and don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have a great deal to be thankful for. I'm sorry, my neighborhood is so loud. It's so distracting. I'm trying to stay focused here. Okay, so basically for the present time, coming up late June, Magician and Four of Cups paired together, it's basically saying that you got some regrets about something, Capricorn. Yeah, you're just kind of like wishing. You're wishing so much that something was different. What could be, what could have been, what you should have done. So it's saying to count your blessings because you got manifestation powers. And you could miss out on some great new beginnings because you can make a lot of things happen at this time. You could miss out being stuck in your head, being regret regretful. So, we'll clarify these two cards more when we take a look and see what the rest of the reading has to say. So for now, we'll move on over to how your person sees you. Now, they see you like the Wheel of Fortune, and they also see you like this Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, it's a card... That reminds us this too shall pass, whether it's good times or bad times, it passes if suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world. Keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, changes. 
It's all live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of your control. But even that's okay. Roll with any changes and think positively. So they see you as in a cycle of changes. You could be transforming, but they see you as having a fortune of good luck right now. Things are really good in your favor. Now they also see you like the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you see this man, he's working. The Eight of Pentacles is the card that's below. They see you. This man, he's working all the way through night, from daytime through nighttime. He's not stopping. It's raining heavy. Those raindrops are huge. I don't know if you can see them. But he has no intentions of stopping. He's just going to go in for the kill. He's going in overdrive. He's working really hard, nonstop. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles is about necessary efforts. You will have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task at hand is important. Keep in mind, though, if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. Now, this Eight of Pentacles, it indicates a very hard work period. Now, this doesn't have to be negative, but you must be prepared for it. And this is also how your person sees you. Yeah. Your workload may be interfering with the relationship. Now, they see you could have a, cu a couple of different storylines. They could see you as um, you're in a cycle of good fortune, or good fortune is on your side, and you're you're working hard. You're, you're mastering your craft. You're enjoying what you do. Or they could see you as um, you really want to work hard towards this connection. You want to put in the time, energy, and all the effort you can to make this connection work. And that uh, you bring good fortune to this connection. They could see you like that also. So it could go either way. Like I said, I get a couple of different storylines for how they see you. I'm kind of picking up that they see you as... I'm leaning more towards they see you as bringing good fortune to this connection. And you're willing to work really hard to make this connection work. That's how they see you. And... We'll move on over and take a look at how you see them. Now, you see them like this Five of Wands and the Six of Wands. Now, you see the Five of Wands, the card that's above you see them? It's referring to competition. Yeah, you see all these men there, five men, they're about to beat each other or battle each other with, the, with their sticks with their wands but this is about competition it can refer to career or work but since this is a love reading it's referring to romantic rivals so don't be afraid of competing just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful but you're gonna have to try to see results so when this card appears your need to believe in yourself is gonna have to be stronger than ever now Hold your head up high, have faith that you'll end up in the place that's right for you. You could also be thinking of making a career change with this five of wands showing up here. Just know you can be successful at that too. So you see them as being pursued by several people. Yeah, they bring rivalry. They make this connection a challenge. So there's obstacles there in this connection. And um, with the Six of Wands showing up here, as um, it's paired with the Six of Wands, Six of Wands is all about victory, recognition. And if you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you can be victorious. You will be victorious. Put it that way. 
This can indicate any kind of celebrations. You might be a part of a graduation party, commencement celebration, or you could be receiving some reward for good, good work that you've done. The Six of Wands makes you feel really good about yourself, as if you've got a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else, whereby adoring them makes you feel amazing. Yeah, Six of Wands is a, a beautiful card. I, I like it because it's... You see how these people are surrounding this lady? She's on a podium. And they're rooting her and they're cheering her on. There's a whole bunch of people below her. And she's enjoying being recognized. And they love giving her the recognition. Six of Wands, it's kind of like that twin flame energy. It suggests that you need someone to boost your ego while the other person... They're perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This is the fire. This is, called the, this is called the fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. Also with the six of wands, you can expect a lot of sexual energy. There is a lot of passion and a lot of long nights spent in bed. Yeah, it's that, that chemistry that magnetic pull that a lot of uh, couples have yeah I don't know this reminds me of that twin flame energy that just uh, six of wands so basically with these two cards paired together five of wands and six of wands do you see them as uh, maybe your twin flame uh, you see them as um, they could want to have victory and success with you, Capricorn, your person. They could want to really do that. But they bring rivalry. And a lot of times you guys don't see eye to eye because they make you struggle for dominance. And who wants to feel like they got to fight to, to stay on top? in a connection. Who likes to feel that way all the time? So this person could bring, they could be bringing romantic, they could be bringing um, uh, competition into this connection or they're being pursued by several people. What a headache. <laughs> yeah, but they do want victory and success with you. They do. They could see you as Someone that they got a lot of chemistry with and a lot of great, maybe great sexual energy for. Maybe the uh, intimacy is, is over the top. So that's how you see them. So let's take a look at why it's happening. We got the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Now, the Four of Wands, it indicates that you could be attending a special event. This event, it's going to be much more fun than you're anticipating, so make sure to go. You'll have a great time. Business, if you got a business, it's likely to be going very well, and you'll be proud of yourself. Others will be proud of you. Although this is a positive card in the reading, it shows that there's a need to keep your wits about yourself. You could deserve and treat yourself to some fun. But just know that you're probably still in a building up phase and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This four of wands can also mean that you might be moving your place of residence. Yeah, so this is one of the reasons why it's happening. You or your person wants marriage, long-term commitment, or either something that's more committed, a whole lot more committed, including marriage, engagement, living in together, celebrating life as two people, as a couple. This could be you or your person, Capricorn. Now, it's with this Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is beautiful. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups. It's not short of any cups. Ten is the tops. 
It's one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive in a reading. This can point to happiness, perhaps in a more mature kind of way. Either way, it's a good card. The Ten of Cups speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled. That's a part of the picture too. And this is a card this is a really good card to see regardless of any question. Yeah, it's a sign that uh, if you're in a relationship that uh, you really don't have anything to worry about because you and your person you're on the same page. This Ten of Cups is a dream come true. That's what the Ten of Cups is known as. So, let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. Okay, so, what um, we have here is that the person, they see you as, they see you as, um, because the will is there and the will is turning, I'm going to say they see that you were willing to work hard in this connection to make it work. But you're in a cycle where you're changing, you're experiencing good fortune in your life, and you're just doing well. You're in a cycle and you know that the wheel turns. You, you're smart enough to know that um, you have to keep your perspective. Because life is always at a turning point. Things are good for you now, and you're willing to work hard, or you were, let me use the word were, you were willing to work hard in this connection. But you see them as bringing romantic rivals. They bring a lot of competition. You see there's five people there, not just one or two. <laughs> they bring a lot of competition to this connection and you feel like you have to always fight and stay on just to stay on top struggle for dominance I call it but you know that um, there's a lot of passion in this connection um, like I said maybe intimacy is great it's fabulous with the six of wands here um, and you see them as wanting to have victory and success in this connection they want you to recognize they want you to recognize it recognize them and uh, but you that regrets though Capricorn you regret that this person is possibly being pursued by so many you regret it's like that and you regret that they're not probably not handling it the way that th that you think they should so it looks like your person like I said they do want victory and success with you they could even want to celebrate life with you they could be thinking that um, you're the one that they could have a committed relationship with this four of wands showing up here but it looks like you're stuck in regret you don't really like the drama that comes with romantic rivals it looks like it could be a headache for you because it looks like you're in deep thought here thinking you'd rather run with the will of fortune that you're experiencing now in your life and maybe just work hard on yourself or other things in your life that are going well for you right now instead of deal with all the competition and the rivalry that this person brings because you got the wand in your hand you got the magician and you got the magician on your side you got manifestation powers which can create new beginnings and a whole lot of great expectations can happen for you so it looks like that's the direction you you probably choose to go you're gonna use you're gonna stick with your your good fortune that you're experiencing and you're gonna work hard towards other things because you're 
you're not getting up off the, the lawn. This man, he's sitting in the, looks like he's in a park on the, on the grass. He's got his legs crossed. He's sitting on the grass, and he's just kind of stuck there. You can't see the picture, but his hand is bleeding. So he's in really deep thought. He, he can't even get up to fix his, take care of himself and fix his hand. And this is you. You know that you have, um, it's time to live your best life. Yeah, and your best life is waiting for you. Manifestation powers, the will of fortune is in your favor. And you, you got a lot of better things to work towards with the Zeta Pentacles here. You could be working hard on something that's not such a headache. But, like I said, your person, they do want success with you. They like, I think they like the chemistry and the magic you guys have. And they, they could see you and them taking this to the next level. They could see it, but it doesn't look like they're going to stop having the uh, competition come towards this connection. Um, not now, at least. Maybe down the line. And the Ten of Cups is here. You're going for the Ten of Cups. You're feeling, you're feeling that you could manifest your Ten of Cups somewhere else. Yeah, your new beginnings. Yeah, you're reaching for the stars. You just don't want this. You're too stuck in regret that this person is not changing. So it looks like you're reaching for the stars as a magician, and you're going to make your Ten of Cups happen somewhere else. You could be thinking of a new beginning with maybe someone you already know. Or someone, there's a new person coming in, and you know that they'll be better for you. So that's what I got for you, Capricorn. You, Capricorn. You, Capricorn.